Hello, my name is John Tanzella. I'm the president and CEO of IGLTA, the International LGBTQ Plus Travel Association. We are a nonprofit that began in 1983, promoting safe and welcoming travel experiences. We do business in about 80 countries, and we provide complimentary resources and information to help our community experience the world. This year in the United States and all over the globe, diversity, equity, and inclusion has been at front and center of conversations of all businesses and nonprofits. At IGLTA and in our community, DEI has always been hugely important and we support businesses that support our community of travelers. Today, I'm really proud to welcome our newest global partner, Wheels Up. They are a leader in private aviation, but they're also a leader in diversity, equity, and inclusion. They are headquartered in New York City, and I'm going to introduce one of their leaders to discuss their DEI initiatives, as we know this is very important to our community. I'd like to welcome Stephanie Chung, Chief Growth Officer. Hello, Stephanie, and welcome. Hi, John, how are you? Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for your time today. Of course. So tell me a little bit of background about yourself and about Wheels Up. Appreciate the question, John. So first, a little bit about my background. I uh, always say that I started off a child of a soldier. So my dad was in the US Air Force and I grew up a military brat. And I grew up around aircraft and active Air Force bases and hearing jets take off and land every single day of my life, almost every minute of my life. And so I fell in love with aviation really early on. And I knew that I wanted to be in aviation, but I didn't know at the time what I could do in aviation because whenever I would see any type of um, photos depicted of aviation and careers in aviation, you would always see if you were a man, it was a pilot, or if you were a woman, it was being a flight attendant. And so I didn't think I could be a pilot and I didn't have any desire to be a flight attendant. So I literally started off my career parking planes and loading luggage at the Boston Logan Airport. I loved that job, John. It was so much fun. And uh, so I started literally loading luggage, parking planes. Um, I worked at the ticket counter doing customer service and then eventually moved up in my career. So I sold for the major airlines. I then got recruited into private aviation and uh, have had just a, a wonderful career in this particular space and I've absolutely loved it. To your point, I am now uh, the chief growth officer for Wills Up. That makes me uh, the first chief growth officer for the company as well as for uh, anyone in the industry. And some of the things that we're really focused in on at Wills Up is all about inclusivity. We know that our industry has historically not done uh, the best job when it comes to including the LGBTQ plus community, people of color, the female market. You know, we tend to, as an industry, we tended to really market to a very specific demographic. But let's face it, it's 2020, John. Things have dramatically changed and we at Wills Up are really proud to be leading the industry in making sure that we are creating a product and uh, creating marketing assets and really speaking to the various communities to let them know that they're welcome here. And so we're excited to team up with IGLTA. Uh, could not be more stoked about all the different things that we're gonna do together to really broaden private aviation to the LGBTQ plus community. That's wonderful. Um, we actually have a, a bit of a similar background because I grew up with uh, airline parents and relatives as well. And so once you get that smell of jet fuel in the morning, it gets in your system and, and you love it, right? You do um, love it, right? exactly. Very exciting. <laughs> Well, so far we have really enjoyed working with you and your entire team at Wheels Up. So um, thank you for, for the partnership. What are you planning to um, do with our partnership? What, what's your interest and how did this really come to fruition? Yeah, so a, a great question. Really, you know, when we look at uh, what we're attempting to do at Wills Up, but also just, you know, not even just at Wills Up, right, but also the industry overall. You know, Wills Up, a little bit of background about us. We are the second largest private aviation company in the world. We have over 9,000 customers, 300 planes that we own and operate. Plus, we have another 1,200 aircraft that we uh, work with our partners on as well. So we're a massive organization when it comes to private aviation. 
communication. But one of the things we pride ourselves on is being forward thinking, being provocative, challenging the status quo. And so when we think about teaming up with IGLTA and also you know, diversifying the industry and our client base, there's really three things that we're focused on specifically. So the first one is making sure that you know, our, um, our client base and our employee base looks like the world we live in quite frankly. And so some of the things that you're going to see us do is, you know, we have marketing assets. So how do we market? How do we brand? How do we speak to? Where do we show up? And the goal isn't for us to just do things as normal and expect people to come to us. No, we need to be mindful and go to those um, areas that are important to the communities in which we serve and also the LGBTQ plus being one of them. So some of the things that we'll be doing, you know, we have a program at Wills Up that we call Wills Down. We are kind of known for our events and we tend to do things like the Super Bowl or um, the Masters or Art Basel. And so we do some amazing events. But what we want to do with the LGBTQ plus community is also be at events that are important to them as well. So you're gonna see us at Gay Ski Week. You're gonna see us at different Pride events. We're going to do those things that really, again, show that we are um, welcoming and wanting to spend more time and really embrace the community and let them know that they're welcome here. We understand that this is new for you to reach out specifically to the LGBTQ plus community, but it's not new for you to be doing social causes. Tell us about your Wheels Up Cares program. I, I found that fascinating and your give back and your support is huge. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for acknowledging that. We appreciate it. So the Wheels Up Care program is, it's, it's amazing actually. I'll give you just a couple of examples. So when we think about, um, we just recently painted a plain orange and the reason why it's orange is to represent Feeding America. When we think of food insecurities, that is a uh, problem certainly throughout our entire country, but we know that it affects people of color more dramatically than uh, perhaps other communities. So what we decided to do was to make a commitment as a company and with some of our partners to say, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we can donate up to 10 million meals. Well, because of who we are at Wills Up, so between the the employee base, between our partners, we were able to raise, and it continues to grow, not just 10 million meals, which was our goal. Right now, we're a little shy of 50 million meals that we've raised. And so we're really proud of that. You know, right now, um, the most recent interview that I did had to do with Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You know, I personally am a breast cancer survivor. It's, it's something I'm very passionate about. Well, we have a pink plane as well. And so, you know, the purpose behind the Wills Up Cares is not only do we paint the planes, not only do we give to the various causes financially or, you know, things that they may need, but I think the key here is that we allow the planes to be incorporated into our fleet. So it's not a plane that's just flying. And for an example, the pink plane doesn't just fly in October. The pink plane flies every day. And so that's our way of giving back in a daily, on a daily basis, not just during the month of October, but we have that plane touching down to the various cities, flying you know, various customers. And so our mission behind Wills Up Cares is that those initiatives that we support, we want to support them daily, not just when it's trending during that month. That's, that's so important. And, and we often talk about that in the LGBTQ plus community, that companies that just come in in June for Pride Month, uh, but then they ignore the community the rest of the year is such bad marketing. So I'm glad to hear that you, do, you guys are doing things uh, throughout the year. Well, I appreciate that. And I think that's a really good point because one of the reasons why we wanted to team up with IGLTA is, let's face it, John, we know that there's so many accolades that your organization has, but one of the ones that's most important and you know personally very dear uh, to me as well is the fact that you're a safe haven. We know that people from the LGBTQ community Um, And I will say that people from the African-American community as well, or the female community, that there are times that when we decide to travel someplace outside of our normal uh, areas, that we do have to do the research to make sure that that particular country or that particular state or that particular hotel or cruise line or, you know, aviation company, et cetera, is friendly towards us. And so one of the things that we're most excited about and one of the reasons why we chose to partner with IGLTA is we want the community to know that you're safe with us at Wells Up. 
If you choose to fly privately, and I hope that you do, <laughs> that we want you to know that from our employee base to our executives to our investors, we are all in and committed to the LGBTQ community, but we know the significance. I personally know the significance of being able to travel and not worry about whether someone's going to receive me as friend or foe. That's huge, and yeah. especially these days, because um, you, you said it correctly, there are places, even here in the United States, that are not welcoming for LGBTQ plus travelers. And we at IGLTA, we try to promote businesses like Wheels Up that are welcome to our community. So thank you for that. And thank talking, you. Thank, uh, talking about the LGBTQ community, I happened to notice on social media recently, mm -hmm. a big star in our community was posting on social media uh, her experience with her wife uh, on Wheels Up. Um, can you talk about that a, at all? Um, she's a two-time Women's World Cup champion and a gold medalist, Megan Rippon and, and her wife. Yeah. So, you know, Megan, it's, it's, it, well, we call it private aviation for a reason. So I won't be able to go into any of the details about Megan specifically, but we're always honored whenever any of our clients, um, you know, really want to share their experience on their social media following or just with friends and family. And so, yeah, I did see that post that you're referring to. And, uh, and I was uh, super excited to see that. So uh, we, we love that and we appreciate it. And when any of our customers, uh, you know, go ahead and put it out there that they fly wheels up frequently. Yeah, she's a rock star both in the uh, sports world, but also in the LGBTQ community as well. So, well, I want to thank you for your time today and thank you for your leadership, both in your industry and in DEI space. So thank you for that, Stephanie. And, and um, we really appreciate it. For those of you that are out there traveling, I hope to see you on a Wheels Up jet uh, sometime soon. If you're an IGLTA business member, you'll be meeting Wheels Up at our convention in Atlanta next year. So thank you again, Stephanie. We appreciate it. Thank you, John. Thanks for having me. If anyone listening wants to know more about Wheels Up, who should they contact? Oh, great question. My favorite question, John. So they can just uh, send an email to IGLTA at wheelsup.com and we'll be sure to respond back to them immediately.